and he's before Messi's time. So you'd have to think, did Messi maybe watch Francesco Totti? Did he, did he kind of emulate a little bit what he was? What's up guys and welcome back to Tactics on the Bench. As always, it's your coach Andy and today we continue with another reaction video. Listen, I am excited to bring to you this player, an amazing playmaker. Honestly, in talks and regards to this player, he is considered one of the best alongside Messi. So you already know, Messi is considered one of the goats of the generation. So imagine the, the amount of affection this guy's received because of his skill and the ability to put his teams on the map. I'm talking about Francesco Totti, an amazing player. The caliber of quality this guy sustains at his feet in matches was parallel to no one in his time. Also a big reason why Italy won so much with him and why his club teams were always at the top. So let's go ahead and check Francesco Totti out. Also, before we continue, please feel free to smash that like button down below. Hit that comment box. Let me know who else you want me to react to. And uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Let's see what Francesco Totti has to offer. All right. And another quick shout out to Barbosa Football Videos. As you all know, he's one of the best montage guys that I know to react to. Because a lot of his montages just show us exactly what just happened there. An amazing chip from francesco totti before i can even get a word edgewise um another chip <laughs> you can see why him and messi on that same caliber just the quality oh <laughs> and we're off the bat look at this he is just what a ball roll completely takes everybody out stops the ball puts in the back of the net i'm telling you i'm telling you now a, a quick message to all of the italian um people coming through the channel uh Mille grazie, ragazza, ragazza, per il uh, vostro sostengo. It's, it's amazing. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate all the comments. And uh, I know you guys put me on Francesco Totti. And I, I got to experience a, a lot of his games watching him play for Italy. And it's just insane. The amount of skill he possesses at his feet. Look at this. Three players on him. Controls the ball away from pressure. Hits that pass. Beautiful. And you can see why he's regarded as one of the best playmakers. He just makes it look easy, makes it look beautiful against hard opposition. I mean, at the time when Francesco Totti was playing, a lot of these players were, were just amazingly good. Athleticism was more about how to control the ball at your feet. Whereas today, it's, it's really rough. Everyone's trying to, you know, hack at your toes and take you down. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. What a rocket of a shot from an impossible angle, really. Nice. Well drilled through. And he didn't just set his players up. He also knew how to place the ball in the back of the net. One of the most complete number 10s you'll ever see. Beautiful volley. Rocket into that upper corner. And we're starting to see that perfect trend of... Look at this. His control is just immaculate strikes it perfectly watches the ball all the way through keeps his head low puts his foot right through the ball bang <laughs> you knew it was coming oh no dude one of if not the best number 10s ever just the skill the skill and to be able to finish in some of the positions he was in like he's not he, he wasn't getting into like easy positions to to finish the ball no he's finishing in front of two three four players and you love to see it beautiful nice hit honestly got he knew what he was doing but he got a little lucky he got a little lucky but he knew what he was doing nice to see that and i think this is why a lot of a lot of the older generation really fell in love with the beautiful game right a lot of these plays the touch the quality to just be creative is why we love to watch the game uh, and today it's a lot more tactical it's one or two passes and then you're on the move or you know you're moving here and there you don't really see this kind of control as much anymore oh that was beautiful beautiful control it's at least to the pen 100 <laughs> percent in fact in today's of our world that would have been called for a handball just saying 
you, you know you know that when he looks up and he sets up <laughs> he's setting up for some chaos wow beautiful placement of the ball look at this his back to the player and places him perfectly so that he can finish no way no way <laughs> this guy has eagle vision nice and if you're a midfielder the, the one thing you can possibly work on to be a little bit more like francesco totti is be confident to the point that you know you can put the ball wherever you see so a lot of people just smash the ball and think oh yeah maybe if i just smash it, it'll get to where it needs to go no he's literally placing the ball because he knows where he needs to touch it to and the more you train on that the better it'll be Beautiful back pass, great slam to the back of the net. Ah, oh, and that's his trademark, that side like side foot pass. He just does it almost every other play. <laughs> Beautiful back heel. I mean, he sees the player running in. He doesn't care to look because he doesn't want to give away the position of the player, but he knows where the run's gonna come into, so he places the ball into that particular area. I think there he takes a little bit of a gamble, but he already knows where his striker should be keeps looking up always look up always keep your eyes to where you need to to play because a lot of you probably dribble your face down on the floor don't do that practice your dribbling look up that way you know what you need to do when you need to do it there's that there's that side foot <laughs> side foot pass oh nice i mean and he's not just like the teams that he's doing this against are not like the easy teams or anything like that. He's doing this against the likes of AC Milan or Barcelona's or Inter Milan. Even at that age, look, he's he's the, there. He's past his prime, but he's still so cheeky with the ball at his feet. Nah, he's gonna. <laughs> he just makes Pujol look like he's not doing anything. Pujol's like one hundred percent focused on the ball. three four players around him he still gets the ball off his feet no <laughs> the, the skill the the confidence it's amazing oh what a screamer and you can celebrate just like that you have the right to do so mm, the placement the placement is amazing that and this is why he's so regarded as as maybe one of the best number tens next to i would say i would say messi um just because of what he's doing it and you can almost see that you could see a messi playing this way you you know what i'm saying and he's before messi's time so you'd have to think did messi maybe watch francesco totti did he did he kind of emulate a little bit what he was doing Oh, nasty. <laughs> Oof, no way. The keeper just standing still. Paneka to the opposite side. Game over. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Francesco Totti. Like I said, an amazing midfielder, an amazing playmaker, an amazing box to box or attacker. He just did, he was all, all around an amazing player did everything he needed to do um thank you very much for being here thank you for coming through to the channel make sure you smash that like button down below it really helps me in the algorithm uh hit the comment box as well let me know who else you need me to react to and um subscribe if you're not a member or a family member of the channel yet hit that subscribe button come through enjoy the reactions i'm going to start doing some more live content be here for those this is going to be lit and um listen to my italian family grazie like i said it's, it's amazing you're coming through thank you for that roberto baggio video is just on fire right now if you haven't seen it go ahead and hit that uh roberto baggio video amazing another just another italian um playmaker and player and striker and forward and defender like well, these guys are just all around players that were just amazing and have that grit from back in the day anyways guys as always keep the bench warm i'll catch you on the next one